What's up everybody? Welcome to class. For today's class, all you need is yourself, your mat, a pair of blocks, and if you haven't liked or subscribed to this page yet, please go ahead and do so and spread the love. That would be very appreciated. And for today, we're going to get started off in an easy child's pose. So bring your hands towards the top of the mat and sink your hips. Spread your knees wide and let the belly hang heavy, creating this soft compression. Relax the shoulders and relax the neck. And connect with the natural rhythm of your breath. Let your intention be a gentle one for today's class. And as always, bring a level of self-inquiry. Take a deep inhale through your nose and an audible exhale out through your mouth. Begin to rise up in the tabletop position, but as you do, flex and round out through the upper back, mid back, low back, and find your cow pose. So think cat pose as you pull yourself up, and as you pull yourself down, flick the tailbone up towards the sky, sit back towards your heels. Inhale, round up, cat pose, and come into your cow pose. Let your tailbone pull you back in space. You could tuck all 10 toes behind you as well to give you that support. Inhale brings you up. And for this round, you can take a modified upward facing dog. Pull the chest and collarbones forward. Squeeze shoulder blades down the back body. And on your next breath, child's pose. Go at your own rhythm. Find your own pace into this movement. We're just working our way to wake up the spine. And from your upward facing dog, make your way into a nice tabletop position. Circle clockwise over the wrists. Press down through the palms and inner knuckles. And go anti-clockwise as well. Warming up through the wrists, through the fingers. And don't worry about how it looks like or anything like that. Just look for a sensation here. You could play around with your wrist placement as well. It's always good to warm up the wrists. Make your way to center. And from here, Extend your right leg behind you. Try to maintain this nice neutral spine. You don't want to overextend the lower back. You want to be able to balance a dinner plate on your lower back. And once you've established balance, float the left arm up. On your next inhale, we're going to flex our spine down as the left elbow taps right knee. Think cat pose. On your exhale, reach out. Inhale to tap. Left elbow, right knee. Exhale to reach out. One more time, just like that, guys. Inhale, left elbow, right knee to tap. Extend it all out. Drop the left palm down. And we're just going to swivel on our left leg to find this modified side plank. 
Corkscrew that left shoulder blade, down the left arm. Reach out through your right fingers. Find that stretch in the side bodies. And I want you to create a light engagement with your glutes and press your hips forward. Creating that strong foundation. And on your next inhale, float the right leg up. Kick the right foot towards your right glute. Right hand grabs a hold of that right foot as you kick the right foot into that hand. Hold it here for three, two, on one. Release the right foot. Make your way back into that tabletop position. And we'll make our way to side two. Extend your left leg behind you as the right arm reaches forward. On your next breath in, you know where we're going. Right elbow to left knee. Think cat pose. Tap. Exhale, extend it out. Stay long through the spine. Stay long through the crown of your head. On your next breath in, right elbow, left knee to tap. Extend it out. One more time, guys. Find your stability. Inhale, right elbow, left knee to tap. Exhale, extend it out. Right palm plants onto the earth as you swivel on that right leg to this modified side plank. Drive your hips forward as you corkscrew the right shoulder blade down the right arm. Try to engage your side bodies. And when you're ready, float the left leg up. Kick that left foot to the left glute this time as the left foot kicks into the left hand, creating this torque, creating this tension. Hold it here for three, two, on one. Release that left foot. Plant the right palm down. Find your tabletop pose. Tuck all ten toes behind you, downward facing dog. Grip through the fingers. Press down on your inner knuckles. Elevate the shoulder blades towards your ears. And pedal out through the feet. Do whatever it takes to get yourself comfortable in this active position. And keep your legs bent to allow yourself to reach the tailbone up towards the sky. Take an inhale here, and take an exhale out through your mouth. <sighs> inhale to lower the knees to hover an inch or two away from the earth into this turbo dog shape. And use your legs like springs here as you lift up through the heels, straighten up through the legs. Spinal wave yourself forward, flex through the spine into high plank pose. Slowly lower down onto your belly. Locust pose. Reach your arms back behind you, thumbs pointing up towards the sky. Take an inhale to lift up through the chest and lift up through the arms and reach back with your toes. Shoulder blades squeezing down the back body for three, two, on one, release. Plant your hands down. You could either come into a child's pose into your downward facing dog or you could press up into high plank. Cruise back, downward facing dog. Just take a couple of moments here. Now, drop your knees onto the earth and get your pair of trusty yoga blocks and set them at about shoulder distance apart and once you've found your position downward facing dog the blocks make your arms magically longer inhale right leg lifts up towards the sky bend the right leg and step the right foot to the outside of right hand drop the left knee down, 
and twist up, right arm reaches up towards the sky. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, press the hips back, straighten up through both legs. You can even keep your legs bent if you wish. Modified pyramid pose. Flex that right foot. And start to bend through that right leg. And bring that left foot to the outside of left hand. Rise up into active squat. Try to separate the knees from one, one another and try to get some buoyancy in the legs here in this first active squat. You can reach your arms in front of you for balance. On your exhale, straighten out through the legs, hands meet at heart center. Inhale to reach up, look up. Exhale, sit the hips low, active squat. Inhale to plant the palms, step the left foot back, turn all 10 toes to face the right side of the room, horizon lunge. Press your hips towards the right. On your exhale, plant the right palm down, cruise back, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg lifts, bend the left leg and step the left foot to the outside of left hand. Drop the right knee down. Inhale, twist open towards the left this time. Almost as if you're expanding your wings. Plant the left palm down. Straighten it out through both legs, modified pyramid pose. Start to shift your weight forward as the right foot meets the outside of right hand. Inhale takes you into active squat. Exhale, straighten out through both legs, hands meet at heart center. Inhale to reach up, look up. Exhale, sit the hips low, active squat. Inhale to plant the palms, step the right foot back. Turn all 10 toes towards the left this time, horizon lunge. Stay active in the hips and stay active in the glutes. Plant the left palm down, cruise back downward, facing Dog. Inhale to hover the knees. Exhale, spinal wave yourself forward. Unfurl the spine piece by piece. Now you could either take a full push up or skip it. Drop knees. Lower the form to the level of the block or to the height of the block. Inhale, gently pull your way into upward facing dog. Pull the collarbones forward. Squeeze your glutes. And exhale, downward facing dog. Now we're gonna build on that pattern of movement. Inhale, right leg lifts. Step the right foot to the outside of right hand. This time, instead of dropping the left knee down, you're just gonna find some movement in this runner's lunge. On your exhale, modified pyramid pose. Think long as possible spine. Start to shift your weight forward. Left foot meets the outside of left hand. Active squat. Now listen for the change. Start to lean your way onto your right leg. And you're gonna come into this funky crouching warrior. Then straighten out through that right leg. Bend the right leg, lower down the left foot, back into that active squat. Exhale, straighten out through the legs, hands meet at heart center. Inhale to reach up, press your hips forward. Exhale, sit the hips low, active squat. Inhale to plant the palms. As you step the left foot back, ten, uh, turn all 10 toes towards the right side of the room. Lower down your right hand, cruise back downward. Facing dog. Inhale, the left leg lifts. Exhale, step the left foot to the outside of left hand. Runner's lunge. Again, try to tap into that movement. I find that that really helps open up my hips. And exhale, press the hips back. Modified pyramid pose. 
You know where we're going. Bring the right foot to the outside of right hand. Inhale takes you into active squat. On your exhale, come on over towards the left leg as you press that right leg up. Stay active in the right glute and stay active in that right leg. Up dog your chest, squeeze shoulder blades down the back body. Exhale, straighten out through that left leg. Bend that left leg as your right foot lands and takes you into active squat. Exhale, straighten out through both legs, hands meet at a heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sit the hips low. Inhale, plant the palms. Step the right foot back. All 10 toes pointing towards the left this time. Horizon lunge. Plant the left hand down. Downward facing dog. Inhale to hover the knees. And exhale, spring your body forward into high plank pose. You could either take the push up, drop knees, follow by the forearms. Inhale, pulls your way into upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. One last round, guys. Inhale, right leg lifts. On your exhale, right foot to the outside of right hand. Low lunge. Exhale, pyramid pose. Picking up the pace here. Shift your weight forward into active squat. Begin to lean onto that right leg as that left foot floats. Straighten up through that right leg. This time as you bend that right leg, left foot finds a home right behind you. High crescent lunge. Bring your thumbs to the base of the skull. Inhale to reach back to a place you cannot see. Start to lean your way forward into crouching warrior. From here, drop the left foot down to pull you into active squat. Exhale, straighten up through the legs. Hands meet at heart center. You know where we're going. Reach up. Exhale, sit low. Plant the palms. Left foot steps back. Turn all ten toes towards the right horizon. Lunge. Come back to center. Cruise back to downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg lifts. On your exhale, left foot meets the outside of left hand, runner's lunge. Exhale, modified pyramid pose. Notice if you have more space here. Shift your weight forward as the right foot meets the outside of right hand. Start to lean onto this left leg, guys. I know the legs are cooking here. Float the right leg up. Straighten out through that left leg. Trust your proprioception where your limbs are in space as you lower down the right foot to find a home behind you. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Try to scissor in the thighs in towards each other. Square off through the hips. Inhale, thumbs at the base of the skull. Exhale, reach back to a place you cannot see. Hands meet at heart center as you pull your way into crouching warrior. Lower down that right foot to pull you into active squat. Exhale, straighten out through the legs, hands meet at heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sit down. Inhale, plant the palms. Right foot steps back, horizon lunge. Plant the left hand down. Cruise into downward facing dog. Inhale to hover the knees. On your exhale, spring your body forward into high plank pose. Take a full push up or skip it. Lower knees, lower the forearms. Inhale, pulls your way into upward facing dog. And exhale, lower the knees. Child's pose.
If you can even lower your forehead onto the earth and find an embryo shape. Notice how much space you've just created. Start to walk the fingertips behind you. And we're just going to press our hips towards the top of the mat, creating this counter to all the work we just did. And from here, feel free to melt into your Shavasana. And maybe take some time to reflect how you were to where you are. Take as much time as you need. It was an honor to share this practice with you. I know the legs were really cooking there. But it's always great to work through different ranges of motion to build more stability. We can't let one thing be our everything. So if we are doing a lot of strength-based training, we must focus on stability, mobility, and explore all the different ways the body was designed to move. And of course, building confidence and creating a more sustainable practice for ourselves as we age in life. Thank you again for joining me today. I hope you are feeling more spacious in your physicality. Please don't forget to drop a comment to say hello. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for your practice. Have a wonderful day.